All right, guys, so you finally did it. Took you forever, but you finally did it. We got the video up to 15 likes. And just like before, get those into 15 likes. Put something in the comments. We vote on it. Because remember, the summer's coming. So that's the only way you're going to be able to communicate with me is through the comments, the likes. But we voted for it in class, and you guys wanted it. Voila. We are going to have enchiladas. Now, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to making enchiladas, but I can follow instructions pretty well. So I have my mother-in-law here with me so I don't kill you, but I'm going to make sure that it does taste good. I'm going to be adding some things to it. I got this just in case. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like we're going to be fine. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is wash your hands. I'm serious about the washing the hands part. Wash your hands when you're cooking, or at least wash your hands before you eat. Like, make sure we do that every time. So let's do that. Eh. It's that water, too. Get up on them nails. Yeah, that's nice. If it's good enough for ducks, it's good enough for me. Aww. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna get the meat situated first. So we're gonna get the meat situated. Wait a minute. <laughs> no package is safe. Remember, I wash my hands. Delicious. <laughs> so a lot of people don't seem to season their meat first. They just let the cheese do everything. That's not who your teacher is. You're gonna get seasons. Lemon pepper, most definitely. Now I know it's a Hispanic dish, but y'all gonna get some seasoning salt. Ain't no getting around that. Maybe a little onion powder, black pepper. Black pepper. So I hit them with the cayenne. Oh, they man. do like Takis and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. It's being a little spicy. A little yeah, just a little bit. Because I don't do spice at all. They know that. You thought you want Taki? I do not. <laughs> not too much of the seasoning salt, only because the cheese and everything will help out significantly. And the sauce that we make will do a lot too. But again, I just don't like my meat to not have any season. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you. Meat by itself just doesn't taste. It's not bad, it just doesn't taste. And that'd be why, that's the reason why a lot of food doesn't hit like it's supposed to hit. They forget to season the meat. Don't forget that. Put that season on there. Like how y'all be forgetting to put my headers on my paper. And y'all be like, how you didn't know it was mine? You can put your name on it. And now, we get these hands right back in now. I know what y'all thinking. Disgusting! No. This is how you do it. How are you supposed to move that around? Does it feel weird? Yeah, it does. But. I always say when you're cooking and it's meat, it, you, know, you gotta get that in. It's kind of like wet Play-Doh, like if you've ever felt that before. But yeah, so that's enough seasoning for that right there. So we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. This was two years ago we bought this. And as you can see, we still have not used it. 500 feet is a lot though. Think about this, let me see that olive oil, please. The part that I was watching with the video is that you want to try to fry these lightly. You still want them to be malleable. We have learned that word before, but just in case you guys forgot, malleable is when it, it gives away. It, it's giving away. It's not just, you know, not breaking, not bending, but not too rubbery. It kind of gives away. Because you still have to roll these guys. They need to be rolled up. So the object is to heat this up a little bit. And then you want it to just get warm enough so you can roll them around so that you can start making them. Think of them like individual tacos that uh, we're going to make a casserole out of. That's the most American way to explain it. <laughs> it's like a taco casserole, which is a thing, but it's hopefully that helps explain it to you guys what it is. Hey, while you're listening to this, stop what you're doing. Like the video. Go like it now. I'm only going to put four right now and then like rotate them in and out, rotate them in and out. Because once this gets hot... They don't have to be on there that long. 
Yeah. So we got this non-stick pan. You don't want to put anything on a non-stick pan because it messes up. It's got a material, this type of material right here is going to make sure that the pan doesn't have anything stick, it doesn't burn, things like that nature. So we're going to go ahead and cook this up and in a moment I'm going to go back and check the tortillas, see how they're looking, flip them and then come back and do some more. That way just get them warm enough. We don't want them hot, we don't want them too crunchy, we want them malleable. So that's what we're going for. Alright, so we are now going to be making some of the sauce. Again, not that much chili pepper, cayenne, because your teacher don't play that. That's not what we're going to do at all. But um, I want to make sure that the sauce tastes good. I know that was one thing y'all were like, don't add the sauce, is it anything? And I was like, nah, that's how you make it taste good. Y'all like, you want to add the sauce. So I'm going to do my due diligence to make it taste good. Now what I will do is I'm going to use a lot of this sauce from what my mother-in-law already had made and just add a little bit more water to it so that it can become malleable. It becomes like fluid, liquidy, so that we can put it right on top. It's going to taste so so good. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, this is gonna be fire. But again, hey, if y'all don't like it, it's just more for me to eat. So I know right now you're looking like, ew. Trust me. When it's done, y'all gonna be like, oh, this is good. See how that, that thickness like that? You want that. Yeah, see that little bubble? That's good. We don't need no more, we don't need it hotter than that. See, the first batch is gonna be the most oiliest, but as you go on, it gets better. And worst case scenario, don't be afraid to damp some of the pepper towel if you don't feel comfortable. Cause that's what it ultimately comes down to. So we're gonna slide that right back in there. Multitask, work with what you got. So now we're gonna go right back in here, get right back in there. Should it be? More soupy like that. Not so, it shouldn't be so thick. Cause when you put it in the oven, it's gonna like heat it up and thicken it up a little bit. Just off of the smell alone, I know that's gonna be good. So we're gonna stop right there. We can get a B-roll real quick of the, the ground beef starting to look real good. So yeah, that part's gonna look real good. That's gonna be real good, y'all. I'm not worried about that at all. Like that's gonna be really good. We're gonna do one more because the meat is starting to cook pretty quickly. And once the meat gets done, we just be waiting for these. So we can just try to move as fast as possible. Whenever you're cooking something or doing anything in life, honestly. If you don't feel comfortable, just slow down. Ain't no reason to rush. Like I tell you on tests all the time. You got time. Slow down. Don't rush. Do what you feel most comfortable doing. Take your time. So when it comes out, I'm going to lay the tortilla down. Make like a little taco. Roll it. Tuck it. Roll it. Tuck it. Roll it. Tuck it. Not tuck it, then roll. But roll it. Tuck it. And we're going to do that all the way around. Start. Get the sauce. Now this is the vegan cheese. I'm not going to give y'all vegan cheese. I'm just going to make one for myself so I can eat with y'all. Uh, but yeah, y'all know me about this. I don't do dairy. So this is just vegan cheese for me. And then I have vegan sour cream that I bring for me. And then I'll bring other sour cream for you guys. For me. Hmm? Don't you want to heat up your rice because it's cold and hot? Oh, rice goes into it? Malleable. I'm putting it in. No, the rice is going to be heated up from the uh, thing. We yeah, don't want to overheat it. It's not malleable. There goes the word again. Right. Now, some people don't do what I'm about to do, but I just feel like, one, it'll be more fulfilling, and two, who don't like rice? And again, hands are washed, so I'm just going to use my hand. Put a little bit in there. Just a little bit. Then we're going to get some cheese in each one. I think that's even too much. That's okay. All right, so now all we're gonna do is grab it. What I'm learning from this first one is I don't need to add so much. We roll it, tuck so it right there. Look at you who got the first one. See, <laughs> it's not hard at all. So, but that first one, it's a little fat, so we don't gotta add so much in this next one. A little bit of meat, and a little bit more. That's it. 
Okay, you know what I mean? I can't go blah, blah, blah. That one too light, too light. That looks good, right, Wayne? Yeah. Because whatever meat's left over, you just cr uh, crumble it on top. So you still good. A little cheese. A little rasp. And then we get the roller. We get the roller. We get the roll in. And then boom, we tuck. Stop, drop, and roll. Fire techniques. I'm saving your life. You're welcome. So if you don't want these, that's fine. You don't got to eat them. Miss Edison will. Or give them out to the staff. You know, teachers love food. I know y'all think that we don't, but we do. Teachers love food. I didn't make enough sauce, so I just went ahead and used some of the bag sauce, which is the same. Well, it's not the same ingredients. Mine tastes better if you ask me, but this will help like uh, with the cooking process. So we're gonna first, we're gonna add some more cheese on top, then meat and cheese and meat, kind of like a pizza. You know what? This is actually gonna be better to do it this way. Kind of like a pizza. Caliente class. Muy caliente. <laughs> Yeesh. I don't have, see, my mother in laws from the island, so she can stick her hand straight in the grease. Don't burn it at all. It's a power they get. Super power. Excited. Why are you excited? I think it's gonna be pretty good. I think you guys will like it. Mo at least most of y'all. Even if you don't like it, I'm I have fun making it. And then you know, trial and error. I didn't do well this time. My next year class, I might do better with them. <laughs> what do you mean? It was his joke. I thought it wasn't Jerry's joke. No, nah, it was Jerry's joke. Jerry, Jerry just said it. And he Jerry said, gave it to him. Yeah, he gave it to us. I was like, okay, yeah, he said it wasn't that good, but he gave it to him. Okay, Google, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, oh. starting now. I think it looks delicious. This one, the one with the cheese looks really, really yeah, good. It does look really, really good. You wanna try a piece? I can't, I can't try that. Why not? This is for your students. All right, so we're at the school, and I've gone on ahead and made the food. So now I'm gonna let you guys try it, and then you can give me your honest opinion. If you don't like it, that's fine. But we just want to see—I just want you to at least try it. So go ahead and try it. Then I'm not talking to you. I don't—I don't have it. Yeah, if you wanted to try it, if you don't like it, you don't have to try it. But if you want to, if you tried it and you like it. Just let me know if you liked it or not. This is so This is bullshit, bro. This is really good. This is about to be bullshit. Oh my god. Is it good, Luis? This is good. Yeah, it's very good. Is it good? I literally got it. You like it or no? Yeah. It's delicious. It's so yummy. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. This is good. 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 This
the funny thing is, like, for my in my relationship between me and my wife, I do most of the picking. Oh wow! What? So what? my wife. Mhm. Mm my wife. Um, she works more than I do. So like. No, that's not how that works. My wife, she works more than me. So like, what I mean by that is, she stays longer than I do. So most of the time, I get home before her, or I get off earlier than her. So like. I'm in the car, maybe I'm grading papers, or I'll go to the grocery store. And during those times, I'll get the stuff to make the food, and I cook. So, yes, Ms. Edison knows how to cook, because I do most of the cooking. But I get mine away. So this is what they had for lunch today? And choice of milk. Compared to what I gave They're for lunch today? Good. Can y'all at least tell me, is it better than the lunch the cafeteria gave? Yes! Yes! Okay. All right, so I have to edit this, but it won't probably go up until maybe Sunday before I put it up online.